Hey y'all, welcome back to the RLF Power Couple channel. My name is Ola. And I'm Shami, and we're on a journey to winning in our relationships, our lifestyle, and our finances, and we're open to bring you all on that journey with us so you could do the same. right now during the pandemic we're both working from home and so we just wanted to show you a simple quick lunch that we do um when we you know we only have 30 minutes for lunch so we're just going to quickly really show you how we make shawarma for lunch um really quickly while we're on our break right. so we're just going to get right into it what we're going to be using today is um some coleslaw not sure if you can see that so the tricolor coaster Yep. Um, and then we have just some beef franks. Good old hot dogs. <laughs> and then we have some um, chicken fajita chicken. It's mm -hmm. nice, it's already made for you. Tasty. And we have some mayo chop. And then the last thing we're gonna use here is um, flour tortillas. Yep, some wonderful tortillas. And for those that are wondering what mayo chop is, it's a mixture of ketchup and mayonnaise. Now the importance of this video really is just to show you that you can be at home and you can eat um, really good in quick time because a lot of us don't have time. A lot of people ask us how we manage our time mm -hmm. with kids. So right now I'm just gonna warm up the sausages. So I'm just wrapping them up in paper towel. Um, that's gonna be the fastest way I can get it done. I'm making four of them. So um, you're gonna be able to see me wrap up four sausages and I'm just gonna place it, my sous chef is gonna place it in the microwave. Thank you. Um, and we're gonna put that in there for one minute. In the meantime, I'm gonna be opening up the chicken um, and that is also gonna be heated up. And then while I'm doing that as well, I'm gonna open up the wraps. So the wraps we're gonna have to heat up as well. Yeah. No, I got it. Thanks, boy. That's what I'm here for, so. Um, we're gonna <laughs> heat up the wraps as well so that they um, are able to be folded properly. Got to add at the beginning is we're gonna need some pepper because we like spicy food. So this says cayenne pepper on it, but it really is just um, some African pepper, really spicy. Very spicy. All right. So here's what this chicken looks like. Um, and basically, you know, we're gonna just warm it up as well. I'm gonna put it in there for a minute. So while the chicken is warming up, I'm gonna go ahead and um, spray the pan. All right, so the pan is sprayed. And then I'm gonna turn on the, the oven to about like a medium temperature. So once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and warm up the, the tortilla wraps. So this is gonna be placed in here, just like this. I'm gonna you, separate you, all of them out. You don't wanna warm it in a plate because it's just gonna steam up and get the tortilla too wet. Right. You're gonna layer it up with the paper towel so that they don't stick to each other. And then here's the sausage from earlier, it's warmed up, so I'm just gonna place it right here. And then we're gonna put this in there for 30 seconds. Um, just to heat it up, like I said, so that it could easily be wrapped. For those that haven't tried shawarma, you've been missing out. It's a very fast meal that you can make at home. A lot of the ingredients are in your local supermarket. And I love it. It's all heated up here. So we're just going to start with the first one. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some of the sauce. A lot of sauce. On there, pepper. And be very generous with the sauce, you know. Makes it even more tasty once it's juicy. Also more calories, so think about that. Yeah. You can overdo the coleslaw so that, you know, you can get- Feel healthy. Not feel healthy, but you also feel fuller because you feel like you're <laughs> eating more. It's a good idea. Um, so there's that, it's mixed in. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the sausage, grab the chicken. Top dose, <laughs> final mm, dose. I like it. And then we're going to again, turn in the short side, kind of roll it in, 
and then turn it turn it in as you're rolling you have to like roll and turn roll and turn <laughs> so that you have a perfectly wrapped burrito like shawarma so there you have it guys there it is so now we're gonna set it on the stove while we're waiting on those to start cooking i'm gonna start wrapping the rest of them so again we take the wrap and then we put the sauce on we're running low and then take the pepper get generous with it I'm gonna go ahead and put the coleslaw And then we're gonna mix it up. And then once it's nice and mixed, I'm gonna grab sausage, as well as a good number of pieces of chicken. Fold at the short side. You roll it up. As you're rolling, you're turning in, turning in, make sure it all fits in there. And there you have it. There's that's that one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and check on the one on the stove here. And I'm just gonna flip it around. As you can see, it's becoming a golden brown there. Um, and then make sure to try to flip it on the side that's not open. That way it doesn't open up while I'm gonna try to flip it. So like here, you can see that if I try to flip it here, the, op the open seal is there and it's not yet sealed up. So I don't wanna open it on that side. I don't wanna flip it over from, on that side. I'm gonna flip it over from this side so that it can stay closed. So as you can see, it's getting a golden brown. I've reduced the heat a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that. I've reduced the heat a little bit, so it's no longer a medium. It's kind of a, like a middle of low and medium, so it doesn't burn. So I'm gonna turn it back around because it looks like it hasn't closed properly yet. You wanna make sure that you give it enough time for it to close. If not, it's gonna open up. And I don't know what the sous chef did. Maybe you didn't let it heat up long enough or too long. <laughs> because heating it up in the microwave for the right amount of time will make sure that it um, it closes up well. So anywho, we're on the last one now while those are still cooking away. Okay. Again, we have our pepper. This one has a lot of salt and a lot of pepper. Pepper is done its duties. A sous chef will take care of it. <laughs> you know it. Get the coleslaw. Well, that's a healthy one. Yeah, I might just try some because I'm actually really hungry, guys. Mm. So fresh. Sous chef. So cool. Sous chef will take care of it. Mm. Just mixing it up. Mm, that pepper, definitely is hitting right now. Really excited to eat this. And then the last one, just rolling up the last one. This one gets a lot of chicken. So we have a little bit of chicken left over. And same thing, this one is a little bit thick because we put a lot of coleslaw on it, but it's still the same wrapping process. Mm. And it's all wrapped. I'm gonna just taste some of this chicken because mm. it's here. I guess I can try one too. All right, so let's get back to the stove. As y'all can see, turn on the light here. It's a nice golden brown color on this side. And then we're gonna flip it. As you can see, now I'll close up a little bit better. So we have another nice 
golden color. You can see how this one perfectly is folded in. I could have probably folded this in a little better, but I didn't. I think it's actually kind of opening up. So in order to do the sides, you kind of just have to turn them around like that and use them as a support system. And that's the way you do the sides. And so you kind of just wait, you just wait around for it to brown. So right now it's just, you know, browning. And once it browns all the way around, you're ready to eat it. So that side is doing its thing. We're gonna turn it over to the other side. It's really hot, so if you're not good at holding on to hot stuff, I wouldn't advise you to use your hands. You can use- Wear gloves. Gloves. I'm gonna start the next step. That's what I would do. Um, And just go ahead and Spray it. So y'all, that's basically how you make shawarma. Mm -hmm. We'll show you the final result. It's still, you know, on the stove cooking there, but we'll show you the final results once we're done, all right? Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. We really appreciate all the support we've gotten so far, but we want more. Yeah. Um, and we're just hoping, you know, that you learn something here and there, even if it's just how to make shawarma or how to manage your finances and it can help you win in your relationship, lifestyle, and in your finances. Right. I'm excited. As y'all see, it's a quick, <laughs> nice, tasty meal you can have, especially when you're working from home on your lunch break. It's pretty quick. All right, y'all. So here's the finished product. We're just going to cut it in half. Ooh. <laughs> The other two. Mm, it smells so good. Wow, really? So the other two are still on the stove, but like I said, we're on our lunch break, so we're just gonna grab a quick bite. Yeah, listen y'all, there's nothing at your job that would give you as much of a tasty meal right. than this. And I'm having to work home, from home. Yeah, exactly. We're saving all kinds of money, you know, being at home, being able to cook and eat at home. Right. So we're gonna go ahead and have it oh. with some malt. Yeah. yeah, and then we'll give you a close-up look of the shawarma, how it looks on the inside. And don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, so. And the ginger malt that goes well with it. <laughs> you see it? There you go. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, we're not paid to advertise the malt, but just. <laughs> All the shawarma. Right, let's try so, it out. Yep. Take a big one. Mm. Mm. All right, come on, let's do it. It's spicy. And it's delicious, y'all. Mmm. Mm. That was very juicy. Mm -hmm. Made it chop. Besides, well in there. <laughs> Getting mm. all kinds of spots. Man. <laughs> I was Speechless. Really <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anyways, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Um, We hope you enjoyed this and wherever you are, you can make shawarma now. And we hope that this video helps you win in your relationships, your lifestyle, and in your finances. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe so you can get more wonderful videos like this. We'll talk to you next time. Peace. Bye.